Hello students, welcome back to the ninth video of this playlist. So in this video, uh, we will be solving question number nine from the most recent past paper of Pure Mathematics 2, which is October 2024 P2 paper. So let's see uh, what's the question number nine from this paper is about. Okay. So here you go. Uh, you can see question number nine on the screen. So basically, the concepts behind question number nine uh, it's from trigonometry that uh, trigonometry that has been discussed in chapter number six of your pure mathematics two textbook, which is uh, chapter number six is named as trigonometric identities and equations. So basically, we will need to use concepts from that chapter. So let's get started with question number nine okay so at first part a here uh, they are asking to show that the equation 2 tan theta equals to 3 cos theta can be written as 2 uh, 3 sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta minus 3 equals to what 0 okay that means we need to simplify this uh, trigonometric equation so they said what uh, 2 tan, tan theta so 2 tan theta can be written as what 2 times sine theta over cos theta since we know that tan theta is basically the ratio of sine theta and what cos theta so you'll get 3 cos theta, cos theta on the right hand side now just do cross multiplication so 2 sine theta equals to what 3 cos squared theta okay so we know that what the trigonometric identity that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta this is what one so since we can see that we need to show an equation that is that have only sine theta that have only trigonometric ratio sine theta okay so convert this cos squared theta to sine theta using that identity so 2 sine theta equals to what 3 times 1 minus what sine squared theta okay so now uh, multiply the bracket so what you will get 3 minus 3 sine squared theta now take it take all the terms to the left side so you will get 3 sine squared theta plus what 2 sine theta minus 3 equals to 0 and isn't it what uh, the question has asked for exactly that's what question part at part a of number nine has asked for okay next is part b part b is asking to solve for x in that limit that means x greater than negative pi less than pi the equation 2 10 2 x twice of x plus pi over 3 equals 3 cos twice of x plus pi over 3 okay giving your answers to three significant figures fine so at the beginning of part b they said hence that means we need to use the equation that we have derived just in part what a uh, so how can we use this equation just try to compare like uh, in place of look if you consider this equation and that equation in ju just in place of theta they have considered twice of x plus pi over what 3 fine so that means in just of th in, in place of just theta we will also consider what twice of x plus pi over what 3 fine so uh, let's let's solve the equation at part b what we have simplified okay so 3 sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta minus 3 equals to what 0 so is it possible to middle term it not possible so let's do quadratic formula okay so minus b plus minus square root of what b squared is what 4 minus 4 sc so minus 4 times minus 3 it is what plus 12 times what 3 that would give you 36 over twice of x is 3 times 2 is what 6 okay so sine theta equals to what minus uh wait minus 
it's uh, minus 2 plus minus square root of 40 square root of 40 can be written as what 4 times 10 right so that would be what 2 square root of 10 over what 6 okay so we got the value for sine theta it is what uh, negative 1 plus minus we have taken we have divided the numerator and the denominator by 2 so we got this one okay so theta theta equals to what theta equals to 2 twice of x plus pi over 3 right twice of x plus what pi over 3 isn't it so what we can write <coughs> so sine twice of x plus pi over 3 can be written as equals to what negative 1 plus minus square root of 10 over 3 okay now uh, let's have a look whether both the values are within 1 and negative 1 or not because we know that the value of sine theta can be maximum of 1 and min minimum of negative 1 so at first consider the negative value negative 1 negative square root of 10 over 3 this is basically giving negative 1.3874 so that means we have to ignore the negative value okay so we can ignore the negative value we can consider the positive one only here so we can cancel it here at the first place here okay so we can consider what sine theta yeah that, that, that's fine we ignore the what negative value because negative one is greater it's less than negative one that's why sine theta is undefined for the negative value so we will consider only the positive one now we have to use the most important concept that is what cast diagram okay so we will use cast diagram fine so at first right at first find out the principal angle okay so you'll get twice of x plus pi over 3 equals to what square root of 10 then minus 1 divide 3 this is basically 0 0.72 something so okay the value for theta x the value for x should be in radians so keep in mind your uh, your your calculator should be in radian mode so sine inverse 0 0.72 what we got uh, this is the principal angle is basically 0. Point what uh, 0. Point Eight eight zero four eight nine eight uh four eight nine six nine five eight seven radian. Okay, so this is basically what the principal angle. Okay, so let me move it a bit. Okay, so we got the principal angle zero point eight zero four eight nine. Okay, now we know that the range given for x is what let me go a little bit down let's have a look x is what greater than negative pi less than what pi right so we are considering the value for what twice of x plus pi over 3 okay so that would be greater than what negative 2 pi plus pi over 3 and it would be less than what twice of pi plus pi over 3 okay just we have to change the what limit uh, the interval now okay now consider the cast diagram okay so I'm showing you separately so that you can understand this concept very well because the most of the students feel difficult to find out the values of theta from a cast diagram so this is C A S T right so we got the principal angle this is what 0 0.804 something okay okay so this is the principal angle alpha okay now the value of sine theta is what positive so that means we will have another angle in this quadrant because here what sine theta is positive so this is what this is clockwise anti-clockwise so this is positive so that would be what the whole angle is pi okay and then from there from pi we will subtract the what alpha so this angle is what pi minus alpha the principal angle okay so we got two possible values and then uh, basically the 
upper limit is what 2 pi plus pi over 3 right so 2 pi it's what this is pi and then in the this is third quadrant here no value possible values for sine sin theta because here sine theta is what negative so we can't have the theta here next is there also not possible because here sine theta is what positive sorry here sine theta is what negative so we will see so from 0 to 2 pi only we got two possible values and then pi plus uh, pi over 3 plus pi over 3 right 2 pi plus pi over 3 so pi over 3 is what 60 degree okay so let's have a look whether this uh, pi over 3 is it greater than the principal angle or not so pi over 3 gives us 3.1416 over 3 it is basically 1 point something that means that means this is what this is basically greater than the principal angle okay that means this is the this is basically the limit uh, limit okay so let me use uh, what dotted line there so it will let you understand better this is what this is started from 0 pi 2 pi and this is basically pi pi over 3 okay so that means we can have another possible value in the we can have another possible value for sin theta in the what first quadrant which is 2 pi plus alpha so three possible values we got on the what clock anti clockwise reduction another one is what 2 pi plus alpha fine okay now done we are done with the anti clockwise direction of the cusp diagram now it's time to consider what clockwise so if you go on the clockwise what you will get clockwise is negative right so no possible values here because sin theta is positive no possible there so this is pi right half rotation this is what pi and then here sin theta is what positive right so here it will be what pi negative pi negative alpha okay this angle here let me uh, draw it this is what negative pi negative alpha okay done okay now another possible angle will be from negative pi here we got already one negative pi negative alpha and then again go to the what uh, first quadrant we have a possible angle right but you can see that this angle is what okay uh, we need to figure out whether this angle on the first quadrant in the clockwise direction whether it is outside the limit or inside the limit okay so we got another possible value here which is what uh, negative 2 pi plus alpha okay because com whole complete rotation is what negative 2 pi and plus what alpha okay so now uh, negative 2 pi plus alpha if you calculate you will get basically uh, sign what was the value 0 0.80489 okay 0 point so negative 2 times 3.1416 and then plus alpha alpha is 0 point what the principal angle is uh, 80489 80489 something so this is basically giving ne negative 5.47 it is corresponding to negative 5.47 okay so now the limit is what the limit is basically negative 2 times 3.1416 plus pi over 3 plus 3.1416 over 3 which gives negative 5.236 okay that means the limit is what the limit is basically here but we got the angle it is what but we got the angle it is outside the limit so it is what not acceptable okay this is the limit but we got the angle here so it is not acceptable that means what negative 2 pi plus alpha it's not acceptable okay so we got four possible values okay what are these one is at first what pi minus alpha fine so pi minus alpha is what let's write it down one by one 3.1416 minus 
0.80489 something so so you will get 2. Point what it will be 2.33670 what radian and then <clears throat> another one we got what 2 pi plus alpha isn't it so 2 pi plus alpha is how much 2 times 3.14 plus 0 0.8048969587 69587 exactly so this is giving what uh, 7 7.088 7 096 Nine five nine. Okay, nine five nine radian. I'm keeping it keeping it exact so that we get the exact answer for x. Okay, and and one negative value we got what negative pi negative alpha. Here you go, negative pi negative alpha. So negative three point one four one six minus alpha is what zero point uh, eight zero four eight nine six nine five eight seven. So you will get what negative. 3.946 what <clears throat> 49 6959 radian okay so now just make x the subject and give your answers to how many decimal places they wanted uh three significant figures so at first the first one the principal angle which is 0 0.804 eight nine six nine five eight seven minus three point one four one six over three that is minus pi over three and then we need to what half it divided by two which is negative zero point one two one radian then second one second one is what two point three three six seven zero three zero four one minus three point one four one six over three and then we need to half it so we will we got 0 0.644644 okay 0 0.645 okay up to three significant figures this is 0 0.645 radians next what 7.08809695 minus 3.1416 over 3 okay and then half it you will get what 3.02 radian and at last the negative one negative 3.9464969599 minus 3.1416 over 3 divided by 2 this gives us negative 2. Point what 50 radian so we got four possible values and you can see that all these four values that we have found okay all are between negative pi and pi that's it done and yeah that's what we got the solution to the uh, equation in part b of question number nine fine